Hello anyone who may be watching now or later. Uh, welcome to Hillian's Hub with me, Hillian, alongside... Look here! And yeah, I've been absent for a bit, uh, not by my own will, of course. <clears throat> uh, yeah, ap after Sunday, uh, yeah, I got sick a lot worse than I initially thought. Apparently, yeah, apparently what was brought in uh, wasn't just a throat infection, it was the full-on fucking flu. So yeah, that's <laughs> what I've been dealing with this last week. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's why I hadn't been streaming, because yeah, it wouldn't have been any... Uh, well, maybe for the sadists out there, it would have been fun hearing me hack along out every five seconds or so, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I think most people would not appreciate that as much. So, yeah, and I'm not completely over it just yet. The flu is gone, but the, the throat is still, yeah, <coughs> a bit messed up. So, because of that, and the fact that I haven't been able to play much Hardship... Uh, yeah, almost did it again, Hard Space Shipbreaker. I really should just drop the first part. Uh, because I haven't been able to play that much, it does not record what I said I was going to record. Uh, we instead just had to well, find something else to play in. Why not go with something a little easier on the throat, hopefully? Yeah, uh, do fun fight. Fun fight, people. We were, we were thinking of doing Orcs Must Die, but realized uh, that so yesterday that Monk Island is probably a better idea, considering the coughing could be very distracting during teamwork. Yeah, <clears throat> because we still have to finish, well, we've tried multiple times at the last uh, mission of the first DLC of that Drastic Steps, which, yeah, apparently that was a free DLC they added out, uh, to which I'd say, really, you had to add the, the fan favorite characters in a DLC, but, yeah, the, that game is a story all its own, for now, let's get started on this. Yep. Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, Go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, 
Where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks. Oh boy. Oh, uh, okay, apparently that brings up that. So I should probably rebind some hotkeys next time then. Uh, uh, yeah. This game is quite a thing, and back in the day the original was also quite a thing, as you as can see. Uh, as you might have guessed from the fact that, well, it got a freaking remastered edition. Now, let's see. Yeah, with control, we can bring up this little thing. Uh, yeah, this is basically how we'll interact with most things, so let's change to look at the poster. We elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's not wrong. Uh, but, yeah, basically... Yeah, the Secret of Monkey Island is just one of the ancient click point and click adventure games from the basically the golden era of point and click adventure games. And yeah, already we already had a bit of a video about this, or at least we brought it up on one of the more recent showcase Sundays. And yeah, we're, we're kind of fast forwarding a bit. And yeah. The story at start, well, we'll see more what goes on because obviously it's not going to just be getting this little dweeb wood to try and become a pirate. I wonder, what is a dweeb? It is Marley Bunch again. <laughs> yeah, and somewhere here is a, a relative to Hillian. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that was I, this guy, I think. You, no, no, you're, you're saying. Go close! The guy behind him. The one with oh, the tiny yeah. hair. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a relative to Hillian. But uh, I have a very similar vocabulary. Anyways, I believe we can talk to at least a few of these guys. This guy here, the, well, he has <laughs> your Kia pointed out. And this guy as well, I believe, because, well, he stands pretty, he stands out pretty much in his red coat compared to the blue of everyone else, except, well, the blue and black. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? Let's see, my guy, uh, my, yeah, my name's Guybrush uh, Treepwood, and I'm new in town. My name's Guybrush Treepwood. Yeah, I know, need to do that. He, <laughs> Guybrush Treepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. There's a reason for that, and I think they might go into that right here. Why not? Well, the last time <laughs> she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next. But I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. Trademark. <laughs> yeah, but, but, I, I hope I expected to say trademark, just for the joke of it, but no, no. <laughs> okay, let's Do try I, to I appreciate it. To wake a sleeping pirate. Let's try to talk to a few more, maybe less yeah, important. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. 
I think they're busy. What are you looking at me for? I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Um, yeah. Yeah, excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? You don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. <laughs> I think he speaks from experience. Uh, should we even oh. <laughs> ask about his eye? Let's go for it. I'm kind of curious. Okay, Leroy. <laughs> what happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, these old these old adventure games are full of just little <laughs> idiot things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly like them due to Manchester's party for comedy mainly. He is the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then things really got ugly. Okay, I'm guessing this guy is Estefan then, even though it doesn't... It, <clears throat> they don't... Eh, he doesn't actually say his name, I think. Uh, how did things get ugly? How did things then? get ugly? The Chuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But Trade a mark. mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fierce pirate, the Chuck. We were wrong. What happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. <laughs> so they're all scared shitless. <coughs> Pardon? Where are you making a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. <laughs> Look, uh, this whole lechuck thing has me pretty shaken up. So, uh, if you don't mind. All right, and then there is this guy here. Hi. Hi yourself. Hi. <laughs> nice hat. Hi. So, tell me about Loon. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! <laughs> so... Yeah, what Drakir means is this guy is basically any introvert uh, <laughs> until you hit upon a topic they actually like. <laughs> yeah, and most of all, you really like to say I. And not just because of the avatar I'm using with this. That's <laughs> <laughs> been he's doing that for years. <sighs> Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics, I just get carried away. Nice that as well. Oi. <laughs> and back to that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Loom is another Lucasfilm uh, <clears throat> game. Uh, pretty good. Well, bes from besides what I've heard from him, <laughs> yeah, what I've seen from other uh, people and heard, uh, like 
uh, the let's the youtuber Kikoskia. It is a pretty good game. He ha he has a let's play of it. I'm gonna have to look it up. I know nothing of, about Loom. I keep forgetting to check it out. <laughs> Woof. Trademark. Translate what the, 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 the dog is somewhat saying. Well, what then? I think he's saying he stole the leg, uh, the, the bone from La Choc. <laughs> yeah, that, that would explain why he doesn't want to part with it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a guess for now. I might be wrong. Uh, let's see. I can also press V to bring, bring, it. Yeah, bring this up. So let's see. look at. Oh, okay, that immediately goes into talk. Uh, uh, um, that's a bit different from what he wanted to s said earlier. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole Le Chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through. The three trials! Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. <laughs> right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. And return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! <laughs> well, yeah, here's our first uh, quest, so to speak. Or, well, our first three quests. <laughs> so let's inquire about each of these. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here, your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh, you want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> okay, there's a bit more to it than just that because, yeah, it's a LucasArts <laughs> point and click adventure game and things always get a bit absurdist with those. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're particularly vicious. You might be able to drug him or something. Okay. And what about treasure hunting? Tell then? me more about treasure hunting. 
legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> uh, yeah. I've got a pretty good feel. I think I've said this, said this during the uh, showcase Sunday before. I get a good, got a pretty good feeling that these guys are setting us up because I'm pretty sure not every other pirate in here uh, hasn't found a legendary treasure. You're a bunch of foul-smelling grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate. You must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. <laughs> What's in that grog stuff, anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, Scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, <clears throat> it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> the missy doesn't do grog correctly. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what grog is supposed to be, uh, be specifically be as well. Oh, uh, oh, for leave us. I to told you last time. Come yeah, back later I've... and tell us how you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, they, due to wa drink the water, can go bad in the long sea travels. Grog was a way to, uh, well. Keep the water from going bad and grow bacteria and such. Okay. So it was mixed with water, so basically water, rub, and some other things as well. And it just by accident became a favorite drink. Okay. That's uh, so cozy. There's more to it, but that's a quick, a very quick uh, explanation. All right. Um, I remember there is something that can be done in the kitchen here, but uh, if we open it up, you can't come back here. Yeah, the cook gets pissy with us, but we can rush in while he's hey, out, but not while he's well in this screen. Also, there's a skull there. Yep. <laughs> it's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. We can pick that up. Uh, what is that? I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. Okay, pot of it's stew. It's boiling hot. Okay. Uh, can we close that back up? Let's see. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Yeah, for, I believe we want this because in the tutorials for the that the game has in the uh, main menu, it shows you yeah wanting this thing, and it also shows. It, it uses it as an example for the hint system, which we'll test with C. We need you know, to drug this meat with something. Or not C, with H. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe if you wait here long enough, the, co the cook will come back and toss you out. And, but yeah, we, we need to get rid of that seagull at some point. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how at the moment. I, I know that I've played through this game once before. But, uh, yeah, that's been ages ago, so I don't actually remember what I did and such and what needs to be done. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I 
It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I definitely should actually. <clears throat> I definitely should change that uh, hotkey. Uh, do I? Yeah, it's it's alt. I, yeah, that brings it up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, my my hotkeys are set to alt and then a number. Oh. Uh, before I forget, I have you are going sometimes electro to me. Do a bit milder than last time, so I can still hear you. Okay, odd. And the, yeah, the, yeah uh, if it's, it, it is Discord, probably. Yeah, the Discord has been uh, iffy lately. Yeah, <clears throat> probably due to the uh, so many now using it due to the pandemic. Yeah. But I've got to say, news travels extremely fast <laughs> in this place because we, we'd been in there less than an hour and already news spread to an entirely different freaking island. <laughs> Well, it's a small town, so... Uh, let's see. What are you looking at? Okay, didn't expect him to <laughs> react to that. Excuse me, let's see. but do you have a cousin named Sven? What? Never mind. Good night. Well, if that, if that isn't... <laughs> Excuse me, speak. but do... Now it's only you again. Uh, I just want a map. Shh. Pipe down, will you? That ugly sheriff might be around here. Now then, let's talk business. <laughs> you okay, want to so buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. He's very twitchy. Only 100 pieces of eight. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. <laughs> so we've got ourselves a map salesman with, well, a map that we'll probably want. And hello there. <laughs> Men of low moral fiber. Pirates. Okay. Uh, look at what? the in is here. Hey, don't <laughs> mess with my rat. What are you looking at? See? Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? <laughs> <laughs> yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Ah, uh, <laughs> get away! <laughs> I need the middle one get hit on the head. <laughs> <coughs> what? Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. 
<laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Oh, that's why. What, what? She's off switch. <laughs> uh. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> We're literally getting paid. We literally get paid to take that off his hands. Uh, let's see. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. But this rat scared away the elephant. Shut up! <laughs> of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? What's in the keg? Rum. Jam. Jam. Uh, rum. <laughs> Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. It is something that the uh, sheriff is probably looking for then. Oh, I'm really dear. interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. Trademark. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. Wait, they it was weren't working bullshitting? Out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Wait, they actually... Now you've depressed us. Go home. What? <laughs> They actually had a damn elephant. Uh. I apologize for what I said about rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> Getting the elf running early. Him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. Trademark? No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. But true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Okay, and that's be <laughs> exhausted <laughs> this bucket. Let's see. I don't oh, think there's dear. much we can do here. Uh, what is that door there? Hmm. Oh. Oh, that, yeah, how did that work? Okay, and if we go back... Okay, that, not sure why that's in here. Uh, another door. Ah, uh, uh, how? Uh. Good question. And that blonde, blonde pirate looks oh. weirdly Scandinavian. Okay. At least what the people depict us as. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Let's see. Hello. What may I help you with, son? Uh. So? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Uh, let's yes, see. tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. Boop. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. 
Weird. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. You? Okay, I hope that... Yikes. Okay, poof. No, we not get you that hot. <laughs> okay, that, that shouldn't be enough to set off anything. Hmm. Let's see. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Well, if it has one, we'll find one out. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. And let's see, bones. Poor little thing. Whatever it was. And we pick those up as well. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Okay, she's still gone. Oh, uh... Hello? Guess no one's here. <laughs> okay, voodoo knickknacks. Let's see, there's a jar of bat drippings, a box that says assorted scales, a shaker full of monkey flakes, and some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? How barbaric! <laughs> okay, uh, let's just get out of here before Guy Press gets himself cursed or something. Let's see, is this anything that can be interacted with? No, it seems to be the only door that nothing can be done with, so let's just move on then. Oh, see. I don't see anything special about it. Okay, it's a pretty standard reaction. <laughs> uh, let's see. What have we here? Oh, hello. Uh, what is this place? Oop. Ring bell for service. Uh, what is... Okay, that's a safe. There's a shovel. Seeing as we can look at it, I presume we can also pick it up. Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Well, <laughs> that settles it. Gimme. And let, yeah, we are already getting pretty good on the uh, thievery part, huh? There's Let's the see. sword. Oh. Slash master. When you Trade want a mark. sword as sharp as your wit. And well, maybe we should skip this one because well, Guy Brush isn't too uh, sharp himself. I think you you actually need it. Ring bell for service. If my memory is me right. Does it do anything? Oh, it hello. Never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds, and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. Then why do you have a note saying ring bell? What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. Hmm. I don't have enough money. Figures. Okay. Now how else do you want to waste my time? Oh, with the shovel. How about this shovel? Yeah, what about it? How much is it? Oh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. 75 pieces of eight? I don't have that much. Then you better go put it back. Okay, so I guess we'll, we might just have to steal them after all. And what is with this safe here? Hmm. Wait. Safe. Is there that, something here the that big maybe metal you wall. can afford? No, 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 no. Are you thinking the same I'm thinking? I'm looking that for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Trademark. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Trademark. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. 
I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. <laughs> okay. And don't touch anything! Alright, let's touch everything. Uh, what I was saying at a safe, you should have money. Let's see. We'll have to see if it's locked first. Okay. Wait. Is it actually... We can move this around. Uh, can we use the safe? It's locked. Okay, does it have to be in... Does it have to be in a specific... Uh, use the safe, not the handle. It's locked. Hmm. Wait. Oh, wait, is it... Make it is it a push? It's locked. Hmm. I think you need to do it in a certain order. Maybe. We did some sound earlier. It's locked. Okay. Let's see. What is that noise? It's locked. Okay. Uh, well, it does, seems like that's a bit of a dead end at the moment. So, yeah, let's just see if Guy brushes up for just... Oh, hello. Aha! Caught you, you little thief. How did you get back in there? Maybe you'd like to pay for those. I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. Weren't you tracking around the island or something? Uh, let's see. Can we just put them back Dig or do Master, we need to see? The only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Uh, I don't have all day. What do you want? About this okay. sword. Can we... Yeah, still wait to speed through this? I want it. I already told you it's a hundred pieces of eight. Did you bring enough money this time? Gotta like that they remember uh, I don't that it. you've done uh, dialogue Jesus. before already. Like, are, there are many, there are a lot of How games even today that uh, act like you're not, About like you're shovel. having the dialogue for the first yeah, time. Or... I don't want it. Then you better go put it back. Well, yeah, Guybrush's first attempt at thievery failed. Yeah, and wait, he w he went to ask her. Oh, yeah. Is there something? But I think I saw you YouTube story with this one. I think I'd just like to browse. Hmm. Okay, wake me up if you need anything. I think I remember that you can find the Swordmaster's hideout by following him. And uh, let's go check out on whatever leaky le tire Hello? is up here. Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Did you hear something back in here, too? No. I'd better get your name. Uh, I'm Guybrush Streetwood, you? and I'm new in town. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. Trademark. A very bad time. My <laughs> advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. He says wanting to be a pirate, specifically to break the law. <laughs> uh, let's see, is there anything here?
Why are there so mm. many barrels of skulls on it? There's supposed to be grog or poison. <laughs> hey, is there any difference? Oh, hello there, uh, Atreus. Uh, hi, is this the first game in the series? Uh, yeah, this is the first Monkey Island game, or at least the special edition of it. And uh, yeah, we're doing this because, uh, yeah, I've been sick for a bit. And this will be a bit easier than uh, Orcs Must Die or <coughs> Shipbreaker. And this looks like a yeah, church. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything we can do here? What, what mm. do you expect this to be beside a church? Uh, I, I don't know. You never know with these Sierra games. <laughs> uh, yeah, exit. And what have we here? This looks like a prison. Uh, yep, that it is a prison. And hello there. You gotta yep. get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Ew. <laughs> and why is the rat another prisoner in here? <laughs> it's it's locked. Okay, nothing we can do there. Is there more that we can move? Oh, nope. That's me accidentally clicking outside of the screen because I have the game windowed just so I can keep an eye on chat in the upper left of my screen. And the stream you know, stats in the l lower left. Oh dear. Okay, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is the way to the governor's mansion. Though, uh, yeah, the dogs. <laughs> That's many of them. I don't see anything special about it. But deadly piranha poodles? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? I completely forgot that. that. <laughs> um. I don't think I can get past them. Also, I'm pretty sure you would have been seen already if you were trying to sneak in here with all the windows. But yeah, we need something to drug that meat with to get them to, uh, yeah, <laughs> go to sleep. Oh, that, um, that, that's way too many windows for my taste. But then again, you sort of need a lot of windows to get some form of light in the house. Uh, let's see. There's another alley. Oh, this is the same alley. Okay, let's press the hint button again. Oop, the rare yellow flower. Okay, we it got interrupted because we moved along, so let's give it another... Go to the fork and hunt in the forest for the yellow flowers. And it points us to the direction that we'll have to go with if you, we press enough mm, times on the hint button. Oh dear. Mm. The music's been rather subdued so far. And last time we also talked, when we originally showed this on the Showcase Sunday, uh, I also talked quite a bit about the music system of this you know, of Monkey Island. It was quite uh, ingenious for the time with the scum system, which basically allowed music tracks to flow into from one to another. Yeah, I recall yeah. that. Hey, uh, hello. Do you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Yikes! <gasps> oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Uh, what did you say your name was again? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I came to Melee Island because Trademark. I want to be a pirate. <laughs> I'm saying I'm going to stop right with that. No, perhaps the wrong time. <laughs> Not to mention the wrong name. <laughs> you have the silliest name I've heard in a long time. Uh, I'm over this way. Huh? Oh. Yeah, we have a, a practically blind or a fully blind lookout. What the oh heck is God. wrong with Guybrush Threepwood? Oh, nothing if you want to sell shoes. You want to be a pirate, boy? Take my advice. Change your name. 
Uh, try something like uh, a Dreadbeard or Six Fingered Pete. Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. Okay. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck. And now I'm questioning the sheriff's competence. That or. Hmm. That could be a plan behind it. But it something tells me the sheriff is not what he seems. It, the, the text that lured us in was the same color as, uh, well, his speech. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we. Can we go in here? Or, oh, hello. That is what we need. According to the uh, hint, at least. Uh, and we actually got two points from the. <laughs> and we got the You, hint. <laughs> you <laughs> now know it. Yeah. You only know oh, oh, you poor there. little. Okay, let's pick these up. Okay, we got them. Now we bring these up and use that with the meat. Yeah, meat with condiments. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. Okay, anything else we can find here? I'm not uh, going into this maze like forest without a map or a guide or something. Okay, we need a map for that then. Okay, I'm starting to remember some things. I think. I'm not going into this maze like forest without a map or a guide or something. I think to get the money we need for all that stuff, we need to find the, uh, the treasure that we need money for yeah. the map. Hmm. Yet yeah, and. Hmm. I just realized. Aren't we to use the shopkeep as a guide to get over there? Uh, to where the short master is, yeah. Uh, first, let's just well, first let's just look around a bunch. And to get uh, some sense of surrounding. I think yeah. there's something going on in there. Okay, I'm this... the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I cannot do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. <laughs> no, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. <laughs> He's going to take him go. Toddy. <laughs> Nerd-do-well! Recognize the voices Stop and up. accent for some reason. Millet-head! Millet-head! Pencil-head! Does this place... Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death-defying feat. Well, not so death-defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. Not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it! Across the room! <laughs> Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? This can't go anything but wrong. <laughs> uh, just look at the... Uh, his guy brush face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
the, the, the purple one sounds like a uh, scratch and sniff from the Animaniacs, but I, I believe a few of the uh, voice actors from that are in this. Uh, the the uh, the skeleton mates that LeChuck was talking to earlier. Uh, yeah, that was the same voice actor as Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> Uh, we need money. How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Have you got a helmet? Uh, no, I don't have a helmet. Will I need one? No helmet? Oh, you've got to have a helmet. Can't do the cannon trick without a helmet. No, sorry. Go get a helmet and then we can do the trick. Oh, well, at, <laughs> at least we know now how we could get the money. Because, yeah, mm. if, with what I was thinking earlier, we'd need uh, the treasure to buy the stuff, but we need uh, gold to get the map in the first place. <laughs> By Odin! <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is a lot with these uh, point-and-click adventure games. You you have to go around all over the place, uh, find out think pro find problems, and then you need to find solutions to those problems. Now let's see. We see a light over there, but we can't go there. There's a shore and island here. I think I I get an idea of what that is from memory, but we are closer to this bridge. Okay, let's see. If we'll find someone under it. Oh. No, he's on top of I... it. I've <laughs> <laughs> forgotten about the troll! I've forgotten about him! None Stop. shall pass! You must pay a toll! Uh... Look behind you! A mouse! I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much okay. is the toll? <laughs> well, <laughs> what have you got? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Uh, what? Where did you get this from, <laughs> guy brush? A monkey leash with three collars? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. Okay. Well, shall pass. we don't have what he wants, so we can't move on to there. So, hello there, some bloodthirsty pirates. Okay, we <laughs> probably better to avoid at the moment, even if we are headed in the same place. Yeah, I think uh, we can only fight hmm. those once we learned how to fight. Yeah. Plus so we need a sword. Why? I forgot why you fight them though. Yeah, to act to train for the sword master. Uh, right. Hook Island, rest rooms, souvenirs. I get a good feeling about who is going to be here or actually not. Okay, then he must be at the other end. Wait, hmm. it's just like the nice. one on the other side. Restrooms is on all this side of that. Yeah. Let's see That's cool. Uh, like, hmm. I think it could support my weight. Hmm. Would you really want to cross that thing when you really need to use the restroom? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, this isn't what I was thinking, so... The one that I would, yeah, was thinking of would be over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, this map system is wild. I've never seen a point and click where you can see yourself and other characters, NPCs move around. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I haven't played many point and click adventures. That's more my father's thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember many games like this uh, or that have it similar to this. Also, I should probably move the uh, text, the chat box up because it shows up on my hair, or at least my avatar's hair. 
Now then. We have one thing that we can progress with, and that is getting to the... Uh, gov to the governor's mansion. Uh, I believe there is supposed to be a way of moving around quicker, but I don't know it. Wait. I think the meat is supposed to be the, the poodles. Yeah, we've... We, <clears throat> we've poisoned it or drugged it with those uh, <clears throat> yellow flowers. I suspect we were supposed to find out that they have some sort of effect through some way. But, yeah, we missed, we must have missed that, even though we, we've talked with most of the characters so far. But there probably was supposed to be some way to find that out. Yeah, wait. Uh, what if I said that you probably could drug them, but, yeah, we didn't know you could use the yellow flowers for that. Do I guess you were supposed to go to them, then talk some other, to other people about it? Or just through a process of elimination. That, yeah, it's it's the only flowers. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Okay, something on my Run desk up. is roaring up. Okay. Run up, Let's see. Give meat to poodles. <laughs> oh. And one was on too short a leash. Notice, these dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. Also, hello, no fourth wall at all. Let's see. They're sleeping peacefully. And uh, let's leave them sleeping peacefully before they tear us to shreds. <laughs> Death by poodles. Yeah, that's tied for a gravestone. Let's see. What is this base? A priceless Ming. Uh, yeah, let's keep our <laughs> let's keep our lovely loser away from that. I don't recognize the man, but that looks like the dog in the bar. Wait, what? Okay, I don't see the resemblance <laughs> besides species. No time for reading now. Okay. Uh, can we look at that? No, we cannot. Hmm. I get the feeling if we walk in there, we're going to get <laughs> busted. There is only one way to die in this game, from what I have heard. And yeah, I'll 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 point that out. Oh, hello. This looks when we like get a job for Fester Shine Top. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Guy brush. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, keep an eye on the uh, chat. <laughs> the no, action thing. Not the red person. So that. <laughs> Rhinos? What the? Tremendous yak. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. What? <laughs> Push. I uh, can't move it. Pull. I can't move it. Um. Pick, pick up staple remover. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> what the hell? Walk to books. Uh, I have no control anymore. Manual of style. I what? I must be nuts. <laughs> Pick up wax. What? What's that? The heck? Gophers. Pick up gopher repellent. <laughs> then <laughs> no, he's just spraying gophers. <laughs> Funny little man. <laughs> uh, did you just kill the sheriff? 
Fabulous idol. It's beautiful. Why are they using Swedish cartoon words for hitting and all that? Uh oh. Uh, heavy chair. <laughs> who's heavy chair with sheriff? Okay, now who's going to kill the sheriff? That should hold him for a while. How did? If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, can we I go again? the sheriff in there. <laughs> so we need a file? Uh, where the hell do we... Probably the prison, I'd say, then. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the I don't see anything special about it. Uh, like I said, <laughs> absurdist. <laughs> Hmm, this door appears to be locked. How did that happen during all of that? Uh... Yet? Yep. Okay, let's get a hint. You should find a helmet. Oh, okay. So the game wants to point us to something, to the cannon first. We can't move any further than that. Uh... Yep, um... Okay, we have the staple remover, gopher repellent, wax lips, and manual of style. The what is that? I think it's some kind of religious text. Uh. <coughs> okay. Uh, hmm. So we need a file and a helmet at the moment. Uh, let's take a look here at the prison again. If the sheriff is locked up, maybe we can yes, set these <laughs> this guy free and uh, his rat buddy. Also, from earlier, halitosis is bad breath. Uh, a breath? severe case oh, of it. It's locked. Let's see. Anything to interact anywhere? Nope. <laughs> Let's see, there might be something you can use as a helmet in town. Maybe a barrel a or something. Yeah, a bucket or barrel. Anything in here? I again, misclick outside of the screen. Okay. Oh, wait, we can exit through the entire other way. Let's see. Um... Oh, a circus! I love a circus! Can we pick up any of these barrels? Sign. It's a bit uh, Employees small. Employees only. Okay. Um, we can't interact with the door itself, it seems. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll try not to use the hint system too much. Uh, but yeah, if we do, I will use it to just get a move on. Yeah, Maybe so you just kind of get away the, Yeah, you just want to get away getting stuck for an hour or something like that. Yeah, we have really nothing long, to, at yeah. all to say with them anymore. <laughs> hmm. Citizen of Melee. Uh, I very much doubt that we can find anything in the uh, voodoo shop. I guess we already picked up everything we could find there. So there may be something over in the bar here. Yes, you remember. Yes, it is. Go ahead. I would say, I think I remember something about that, that green parrot. Hmm. I think it's at some time can give you hint for something. Okay. Uh, we can test it out by hanging around there a bit after <clears throat> we give this another shot. Um, we yeah, were given a hint to try and find a mug. Yeah, do, it needs to be. If I remember right about the parrot, it's random. Okay. Or you have to wait quite a bit. I think they're busy. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Okay, missed the opportunity there. So we'll just have to wait another bit. Um. 
Hmm. Yeah, we we need we'll probably need a mug of grog eventually at some point. And hmm. Yeah, let, let's just stick here for a bit, see if we maybe look over a bucket or something. There's that fish on the little dock at the back that we'll need eventually for something, probably. I'm just I'm probably because... <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> because uh, point and click adventure games are also a bit known for just having a bunch of junk items. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And, well, this place has the best music so far. Okay, and... and. I don't remember many point and click games having yonk. Let's see. Nothing we can use here. There's another hunk of meat. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Can we pick another... Can we steal this again? Yes, we can. Uh, can we maybe dunk it in the stew? We can, actually. Or, no, we can put it in the stew <laughs> and lose it. Hmm, stewed meat. And, yeah, still nothing with... Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was complete accident. <coughs> <coughs> Okay then, let's have this ready. Okay, now we have fish. <laughs> uh, I think it's a herring. Yeah, your red herring. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you need explanation about red herrings, uh, you can find it on TV tropes or such. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Big gods. Wait. Check the scumbar kitchen for. Okay, what did, what did we overlook then? Yeah. Then again, I didn't look oh. too much. Uh, hmm. Maybe the pot, but I don't think we'd want. Ex ex are we preparing a meal for him to serve to everyone and then we just take the pot after it's been emptied out or something? I'm pretty recall there is a cooking sequence. Yeah, let, let's see if we can stick the fish in there as well. We're not sure if meat and fish stew would really be a good thing. Prob there's probably recipes like that. I can't pick that up. Uh, yeah, do it. Probably very specific on what meat and fish you use and spices. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. I can't pick that up. Oh, uh, there. There's a pot that we can pick up. And whilst we're here, can we do that? I don't think it needs meat and fish. Okay. Well, we have our helmet, so let's go back to the circus and I click outside of the screen again. Is there an option to keep my cursor captive to this, perhaps? No idea. But time to get some uh, doubloons. Oh, oh, and each of these also have their shortcuts. Okay. Shortcuts? Oh, yeah. yeah, that would be handy. <laughs> time to get uh, permanent brain damage. Uh-oh. Can we... I can't pick that up. Okay. Wait, oh no. Uh, yes, you realize something. Hmm? When do you fly out the cannon and become a pun? <laughs> and yeah, don't make me say it. I think you know what pun I'm meaning. <laughs> I'll leave it to you. <laughs> For now, though. <laughs> Um, can we... Well, let's first get in. That doesn't seem to work. Weasel! Weasel! <laughs> Still had it. Miscreant! Toddy! Can I borrow a trampoline? Hello <laughs> again! Ready to do the cannon trick? <laughs> have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? 
an idiot called Guy Brust well, Freakwood. Let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sorry. Okay. If, they, if someone died in the circus, that would be very bad for business. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! <laughs> <laughs> it works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Where's the shelf <laughs> gun? Where's hey, the damn part? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, where's my helmet? Uh, I'm. Wait. I'm. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm Bob. Are you. Uh, uh, I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? <laughs> Is all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit! Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. Yeah, maybe I'll not aim at next. hardwood. No, I'll do it next. <laughs> no, me! <laughs> no, me! Slacker! Loser! And here they go again. Ruffian. Fuck! Uh. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, Atreus in the chat. Uh, that's a reference to the game Loom. I've actually played that one, lol. Uh, yeah, there's another one in the scum bar, the pirate with the ask me about Loom thing uh, button. How did I... Not <laughs> had to talk about those things in a long, long time. Uh, but yeah, we, we all... We all yeah, already talked a bit about uh, Loom. Uh, if you want to see someone fun do a let's play of that, uh, I'd advise Kikoskia. Yeah, he, he's a pretty hey. funny guy on the YouTube. Hold on, wasn't that the YouTube you recommended me for to watch some uh, disc world gaming? Yep. He does a lot of old games like that. Not yeah, sure he, if he's he ever done Monkey Island. I yeah. think he did. I think I, I think I saw that on the list. Okay. Then we use this little shortcut. Actually, we can. We just no need for the shortcut because we can pay this guy now. We actually have enough for all three items. Excuse me, but the. Oh, it's only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? Yeah. I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. I recognize his voice. He is still as twitchy, even though he has nothing to fear from the sheriff at the moment, seeing as he's locked up. Well, he doesn't know that. <laughs> hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. You were already back here, you old hag. <laughs> what do you want? But should we body things first? I can yeah. really use a breath mint. Whew. You're telling me. Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. <laughs> That'll be one piece of it. What else do you want? Okay. Uh... Do you have files? <laughs> Did you mean hanging files or nail files? Yes. Ah. Sorry. Fresh out of those. What else do you want? No, okay, let's just, just take the sword okay. and yeah. shovel, Wait and then we'll follow him. Anything. Okay. 
I, I do think our inventory should be able to expand. What do you uh, want? I saw an arrow earlier there, so it should. About this sword. Okay. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? Yeah, okay. I think I just like could have browsing. just picked up the shovel as well. But... Oh, oh well, we're not trying to speed run this or anything. Yes. So... There. Uh, well, I guess you can speed run these games, though I don't see the point in it. No, there is a certain competi competitive uh, edge with stuff. Are you waiting for me to fall asleep or something? What do you want? And about there are people shovel. that just want to uh, yeah, what about it? <clears throat> find out as much about the games that they speedrun as they can. I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. <coughs> Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. Wait, is he, he's, and don't touch anything! He's using a sword as a cane, I only now see. <laughs> oh. Helian, sweet innocent Helian, you didn't notice. Yeah, hey, I ha I have this eye patch, okay? <laughs> uh, no, that's not there because I actually have a bad eye. It's because, yeah, <laughs> why not? Okay, just keep following after him. I get the feeling that if we you know, if we got too close, he'd spot us and go back. So, yeah. We should probably be safe now with the lead that he has, but we'll at least be able to see where he goes on the map. <clears throat> and recent he has an iPad to do to his cat Inky punched him. There yeah, well, he's playing up gone. Okay, he's we must be in the forest. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. I knew I, I remembered I, something here. I thought we were. Uh, I thought by uh, going into this bar we might have skipped too much. Oh, more flowers. Might as well. I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is very good practice for being a pirate. Okay, so this is what the. Uh, he said earlier he wasn't going to get in here without a map or a guide, and well, now we have a guide. Yeah, th that's what I was hinting by. Okay, give that a shovel, a shove. <laughs> like, if I, can, if I do remember something, Danger. I will help you Open with it. Ravine. Unless it's a story spoiler. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna ruin yokes. Oh, it's a switch. Okay, I missed the... I missed the log fixing itself. Uh, 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 my eye is more you? on the guy in the pink shirt. I better just stay back here Pants. and eavesdrop. <laughs> Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. So she told him to go jump into a lake. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should have, we should be able to get here now directly, but yeah, we should get some practice in 
before we actually challenge her. Still, nothing gained, right? Nothing gained. But you need to talk to her anyway for that to happen. How dare you approach the sword master without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, uh grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Mele Island, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean, without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously not with your razor-sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. <laughs> well, we now we know of this uh, smirks. <clears throat> Though where the hell they are, we'll have to find out. Yeah, that mm. much I don't I don't remember where you find Captain Smirk there. I don't know you need to start to, to activate it, but that's where my memory drops. All right. Mm. I don't know why I found it. Uh, yeah, fighting is something very interesting. It's, oh, wasn't uh, there? Yeah, I, I had up and downs mixed up for a moment. Yeah, now we can go directly to her in there. Um, let's see now. We can't deal with that troll. There's a past here that nothing is there. We're He's leading there at the moment. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the prisoner. The, the, the breath mints. <laughs> I've forgotten about those already again. <clears throat> Just tell them much. How... <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> yeah, I might have been uh, as almost fully you know, recovered, but I still have a lot of... Still, there's still some slime in my throat that just refuses to come out, no matter how much I drink and such. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that'll just have to be dealt with in time. At the very least, I'm not trying to hack up a lung every, <laughs> every so often now, like Ugh. I was doing before. <laughs> that be concerning. Okay. Let's give Mr. Poison Breath his breath mints. Um, where are they? Not the map. There they are. They are there, yeah. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. What? So, have you come to release me? Grago Mint? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long, I can hardly remember. Uh, you gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! Um, but why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Oops. Well, that's how we will have found out, apparently. Would you happen to have a file? <laughs> you think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! I can't stand carrot cake. <laughs> okay, something to get rid of the... Hmm. What would we <coughs> what would we need to get rid of rats? Also, let's take there sure are a lot of spelling errors. 
<laughs> not too surprising, I guess. Um, from the sound of it, we <laughs> we kind of need these ourselves. Mm, that's refreshing. Wait, I think I know what you need to use. And what then? The, the gopher spray. repellent? Uh, maybe. It says gophers won't come near you with this stuff on. Mm, let's give it a shot. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. I was right. Apparently. Also, I got the feeling... Uh... <laughs> yep. A file in the cake. Uh... <laughs> Is there any trope more... <clears throat> more classic than that? He didn't... Because he hates carrots. <clears throat> okay, but I guess now, he, what he, was it we needed? I guess he respected her at least too much from just wrecking it. Yeah, probably, but... <laughs> I guess uh, next time he gets in prison, he should ask his uh, auntie for a vegetable cake. Or actually, no, carrot <laughs> is a vegetable, <laughs> a fruit cake. Um, no, carrot is a root fruit. Let's see. I don't see anything special about it. We needed a file for s something, but was it, I think it was here. It's a raspy metal file. Uh, I locked the sheriff in there. The other door. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Okay, we had... We have to use the file somewhere. Yeah, up on the other door up there. Not the big one, but the smaller one. Let's see, it doesn't... It doesn't give a reaction thing there. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, get it back in there and get the idol. Actually, I... Th <clears throat> I think I sort of know what we need to do. Use hole. A hole. That doesn't seem to work. But well, come on, guy bros, get through there. Walk through that big hole in the wall. I've got the file. Ah, there we go. And it dives it. <laughs> uh, use manual of style with shredder. Eh? <laughs> Give stylus confetti to heavily armed clown. Whee! <laughs> Throw wax lips in fire. Eh? Use fire on rhinoceros rail. Eh? Rhinoceros toenail? You painted its toenail. Tone what? <laughs> fabulous icon. It just looks like. Wooden paperweight. Nope. Whew. That was a close one. <laughs> At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. It's a sticker wood. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Yeah. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. Ta! Ah! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? 
You heard me, Festa. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. And Sorry yeah, that's the very obvious Indiana Jones Easy. line. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? <laughs> uh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. So that's why all that stuff was in there. Uh, security, uh, or at least an attempt at. Um. My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. Ah. Uh -huh. I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Blue. <laughs> Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. <laughs> Step one, untie your tongue. <laughs> God. Also, how is this an idol of many hands when it doesn't have any hands? It's beautiful. It's a stick. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? From wait? It says from world. Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Okay, it's, it's a heavy stick. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Uh, but yeah, this is that one place where you can actually die because... Uh, he wasn't bullshitting when he said he could hold his breath for 10 minutes, so he have literal 10 minutes to get out of this. Yeah, uh, luckily, uh, there's plenty of sharp instruments all around. Sharp and dangerous. Only problem is... I can't reach that from here. Yeah, they're all out of reach. Very sharp. Dollfish? It's sharp. I better be careful. Heavy and sharp. Look sharp. Rusty, but sharp. I can't reach that from here. Uh, let's see. There is supposed to be one thing that you can pick up. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Can we pick up any of the fish? Or the idol? Wait, did you try the starfish? Uh, wait. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be needing a sword. <laughs> this one will do. You're just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Festa wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. You came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, 
Our first meeting was a little awkward. You seem to have trouble forming complete sentences. Or words. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Bam. Sugar Boots. Uh. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Uh. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just it that did. many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay, then. Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. <laughs> uh, like Atreus in chat says, this escalated quickly. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's I give you the rest of the step. Uh, what? Uh, let, let's give the pirate leaders their freaking doorstep. <laughs> uh, I, I I thought you had to catch some sort of sword face or something as it swam by to free yourself, not just pick the damn thing up and <laughs> completely negate everything. Uh, but then if we get to pick up something... That, wait, I think we can go back there and pick up things again, if needed to be. Thank you for stealing it for us. Okay. Uh, I'll just be running along now. Yeah. The sword fighting thing Leave will probably take the longest. Pockets. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. We haven't actually taken a look at this map of ours. I don't want to whip it out in here. Someone might steal it. Probably a good idea. Yeah, okay. Keep your uh, hands sipped up, guy brush. Uh, let's see. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. <laughs> uh, right. let do the monkey. <laughs> Wait, Johnny Bravo was here. Uh, I think this came two, before three, four. Bravo. Uh, left two three four right two three four left. Okay, I I I. Oh, wrong button. I think these are disguised as dancing lessons. So let's head into the woods again. <clears throat> Pardon. Well, uh, yeah, this game shouldn't actually take too long. Uh, a lot with these old you know, point-and-click games was... Well, a lot of time with these old point-and-click games was spent just trying to figure out where the hell you had to go and such. And let's see, we have a yeah. two points. <laughs> uh, plunder Bunny. That, okay. that one is a very new one to me. I think I forgot about, like, Sugar Pumpkin... Muffin on that's usually, but plunder bunny? Let's see. Back, Thank left, you. right. Hmm. Okay, let me make a quick little note here. Bit of paper, bit of pen. Because I don't want to keep opening this up again and again. Okay, so. Uh, come on. Stupid. Okay, there is ink in it. Back, left, right, left, right, back, right, 
left back. Okay, bit of blind riding, but still good. Okay, with back I'm presuming they mean up then. And then we go left. <coughs> and then we go right. Left again. There's those red flowers again. Right. Oh dear. Down the back. Even more flowers. Right. Left. And back. Now, if I understand it. Oh, this looks suspiciously different. So let's use the shovel with what is what have we here? Is this going to scroll? Yes, it's going to scroll. Oh, uh, hello, Melee Island. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. <laughs> Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. <laughs> Leave some for the next person. Okay. <laughs> well, that undercuts Here the legendary part. Unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. <laughs> Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> okay. Shovel X. Well, this shouldn't take too long. And a three, and a two, and a one. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. Wait, the the shirt, <laughs> the treasure is a shirt. More hours pass. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah, absurdist <laughs> game and such. Uh, well. That's that one dealt with, so let's just hand that in as well. <laughs> uh, let's, that just feels like, yeah, they were definitely trolling us with this. They're probably going to have someone bury this back again for the next dumbass. G for give, not with the map. That doesn't seem to work. We T-shirts to pirates. Well, I discovered the lost treasure. Eh? You're a clever boy. You may keep the chic T-shirt. We have plenty. Tell uh, me again about mastering the sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. And get yourself trained first. Okay, so they won't tell us now. where this guy is. Leave us or... to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Maybe someone else knows. Yeah, let's see. You have something that the troll would accept. Okay. Hmm. Let's go Wait. see what it is that he wants then. Is it the shirt? <laughs> Actually, it's probably the shirt. <laughs> For... You, you remember what he said, right? About uh, something valuable, but not too much. Actually, let's take a look at what the hell is on that shirt. Because there's text on it. <clears throat> Pardon? Oh, dear. Yeah, I've already I've run out of tea to soothe my throat with. Okay. 
No, we're not going to push the shore. Shit. I found the treasure of Melee Island, and all I got was this stupid <laughs> T-shirt. None shall pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. Okay. None shall pass. Uh. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Eh? Eh? Okay, guy press just turns around and heads off. That <laughs> he just magically summoned his club back to him. And yeah, here we are going to meet Stan. Oh no. Also, can people hear me laugh? Yeah, you are popping up whenever you. <clears throat> You are being uh, recorded by the stream. Alright, okay, good, good. For I was sometimes I love my own Discord doesn't say I'm uh, recorded. Only when I speak. So I'm only sure if people can hear me laugh or not. Also, Atreus in chat, so shirt says I heart New York. If that one would have been more valuable. <laughs> uh, we have a bunch. Is that nothing? Wait, hold on, hold on. Back away from that thing. Am I reading this right? Uh, oh, Grog. I thought for a moment it's a co Welcome cola. Welcome to previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. What the? Stay a whitey ship? <laughs> yep. Also, Atreus in chat again. Yeah, laughing is coming through. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I, I hope the audio <laughs> balance between us and the game is also not too bad. And as sold as is, uh, no thank you. <laughs> Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. <laughs> well, thank you, I guess. This one looks more uh, like a yacht. I'm surprised this one is still afloat. Yeah, it's kind of missing a half. Ah, a fixer upper. <laughs> oh god, this may remind me of a thing that happened in Sweden year, but in, at, during the 1600s, where we made the biggest, at today, the biggest war galley ever. However, there was a design flaw. What was that then? They made, they made it too, too high and packed too many cannons. So whenever to put it on the first sailing through the port, the first thing it did was trip over. <laughs> uh, so even worse than the freaking Titanic, huh? Well, they didn't split in half, but... I don't think many people died, but yeah, just flipped, dull, flopped dull, over. Dull. And it was actually named after the current king. Uh, the Vasa. There. Gustav Vasa. Yep, click that and again. His today ship was Vasa Weapon. Or the Vasa okay. ship. Hmm. Seems like we can't do anything here yet. We can't interact there. We can look at these Maybe. boats. Okay. Uh, I haven't been out on the sea much. We, I have been on those bigger ferry boats to England and such. Uh, but on smaller boats, uh, yeah, I have not. I've only been like a few times, and then uh, yeah, I got sick. So yeah, I have, I have been on rowboats and a stepping boat, I guess you can call it. And I've been on ferry boats to Denmark and once, two, three times to Denmark. I was real young and wants to Finland to celebrate the Christmas and the New Year with some friends of the family. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I, I don't like boats either. Yeah, a pirate who gets seasick. 
<laughs> That's the, the joke for you. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword Actually, training, 30 pieces of weight. Oh. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Okay. I was gonna say, first time I actually went on a boat, I actually got seasick and puked into the water. And it's a census back. <laughs> so, apparently the puke was beneficial, but the fish apparently loved it. Throws <laughs> on enough. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. Oh, gosh, you're right. The first time I puked on seas was you probably the first time I got a fish. Maggot. <laughs> what the? Uh, mm. Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. <laughs> you do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. <laughs> of course, I was expecting that to go on continuously. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. <laughs> I do have this dirty looking chicken. Uh, okay, yeah. check it out. Yes. This is a nice one. Let's get to it. Yeah, so actually okay, we kind of wasted it. our money with the Why don't you whip that master. sword out and let's see what you can do with it. <laughs> Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm going to put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this going to hurt? Yes. Yikes. <laughs> Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. Use your forte against the foible. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repose. Use your forte against the foible. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repose. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. <laughs> Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm going to let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Uh -oh. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> you should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. 
Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> no, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, first, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. <laughs> I'm sure you're feeling something similar. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye again, Fort Wall. But uh, yeah, we'll be. Ha <laughs> this is one of the uh, highlights of the game. It is the the insult sword fighting. You actually have to go around and uh, harass the, those other pirates that appear on the map here. I did not mean to rhyme, and there's actually a bunch more now. And basically, to expand your vocabulary of uh, insults. And then well, basically figure out which does it has to be used against what and such. Oh and God! Yeah, I, I remember. This. I actually think I in some rooms I took some inspiration from this. <clears throat> oh, so God. yeah. For now though, uh, we've hit the two-hour mark. So let's go back to town, and this game should auto save. If not, we'll have to double check here. Uh, let's see. Yep, save game. Oh, okay, there is a good autosave. Uh, let's save it there. Oh, hello there in chat. Uh, Michael Jande. Hey, Helian, just wanted to drop in and say, hey, I'm really liking the avatar. Thank you for that. Uh, I've been tweaking on it a bit every oh. here and then. Uh, though I, I might get rid of the eye patch. I, I mostly put that in because my camera is facing me at an angle. So at the moment I'm facing towards the, this, my computer screen. Now I'm facing towards the camera. So yeah, normally one of my eyes would be hidden from it. Though it's actually the... Uh, it's I, I should probably move the... For it to have fitted, I probably should have moved the eye patch to the other eye. Because... Yeah, it'd be, it's it's not the one facing away from the camera. <clears throat> but, yeah. Hmm. A, a part of me wants to continue with this game tomorrow instead of Showcase Sunday. Uh, Why not? Hmm. We could do it. It, it would throw the count off a it, bit. <laughs> but yeah. there's no real need to... Yeah. Like it, this... It, it's only due to you still have a bit of a sore throat, I suggest it, since Sunday Sunday with coughing and four games might not work too well, maybe? Uh, yeah. Uh, plus, we... <clears throat> uh, we already know when the anniversary of uh, one year of us streaming together is, which is to be in March. Uh, March the 8th, I think, or at least that's when I uploaded the first one, uh, the first video of uh, us uh, <clears throat> working together on this. So it might have been recorded much earlier than that, uh, but still, let's let's go with that for our anniversary uh, time. <clears throat> yeah, for, it, it, I, I do recall it was around more early Mars, so you're probably not wrong. Yeah. Uh, it, it, that might mean that I, that I messed up with the count on the uh, Sunday stream somewhere, because I'm pretty sure that the, tomorrow's would have been the 52nd. Hmm. And yeah, 52 weeks in a, a year it should mean that we... Actually, maybe I started... I don't remember now, I don't remember now what started first, us working together or showcase Sunday. Probably... I, I think we started work... I think sh Showcase Sunday started before we started doing this. So, yeah, it's it's not in, it's not too accurate of a counter for when we had our premiere, I'll say. Yeah, but I think it was on the first one after, uh, shortly after. 
Okay, that, that, I'll have to look back through the uh, record <coughs> store videos on YouTube, of which I still have to upload a bunch. Yeah, <clears throat> actually, that should be easy. If you should, let, check the first episode, you probably should hear me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue with this tomorrow. Well, but just for persist you know, for yeah, for consistency's sake, should we do it at the normal time then, or the uh, showcase Sunday time of three in the morning? Not three in the morning, three in the afternoon. Well, we usually have a thing on the late Sunday, so hmm. maybe it's a good idea in the afternoon. Uh, we'll we'll check with Ram if he want if he can on Sundays. Uh, recently, he's not been able to as much, so I'm guessing there's a good chance of not. Uh, for people wondering, uh, Drakir, me, and another friend have been watching Stargate SG One every uh, Sunday, or at least attempted to uh, watch that every week to go through it. And currently, we're on the second season, near the end of it, actually. And no, I won't be showing that on Twitch because uh, that would be a very easy way to get banned. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> we're ending this stream where we start. And it's it's sort of. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Atreus, for watching and commentating. Same with you, Michael Jans. And as always, special thanks to you, Drake here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, like we said, tomorrow, same time as usual, hopefully, maybe a bit early, depending on if, uh, yeah, if our, <laughs> if our friend is up for Stargate or not. Uh, so yeah, we'll be continuing with this, maybe even finishing, because I don't think the uh, Monkey Island games, or at least the first one, is actually that long. But I don't actually... I don't remember, so I can't be sure. <clears throat> Nor do I. So, yeah. Thanks again. Seems that my throat is not the only thing having issues at the moment. My tongue is as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, thank you all for watching. And uh, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for seagulls. Thank you, Burst. And insulting pirates. <laughs> and piranha poodles. <laughs> <laughs>